I want Liberian Lone Star, I wanna four players. I want Liberian Lone Star, I got one of four players. I want Liberian people, we choose success. I want Liberian people, we choose success. Darling, come here. 
Have you rock golden boys, eh hey, ya? Yeah. Have you rock yellow boys, eh hey, ya? Yeah. Well, uh, basically, there have been, uh, you know, varying cases um, based on the data that we have uh, collected. Oh, you got a key. I forgot. Yeah, the valent cases are mainly hypertensive cases. 
All right, and a diabetic uh, patient that we're hoping to see. All right, so based on those um, uh, cases that we've seen, we will also determine uh, which medication to order when we are coming for the next time. So it's basically uh, providing these services and also probably assessment for the next patient. Are you working with, along with our local doctors as well? So as um, by the time you, you shall have left, um, they will be able to uh, treat these people just as you, you're doing it. It's uh, that of a sharing of knowledge, all right? Um, so that when uh, our practitioners uh, get on the ground, um, they can work with their local contacts, all right? So that they will see what we do. And uh, as you can see, a lot of our nurses uh, from uh, the NIMA and some of our uh, nursing schools, uh, they volunteer the time and uh, they come to provide uh, you know, these services. So what we do, we pair them with our nurses, as well as some people that are volunteering and so with the doctors, so we pair them with our doctors as well. So, and uh, so for my, uh, from uh, talking to some of these uh, volunteers, uh, they have admitted to me that they have uh, gained a lot of uh, new knowledge uh, from our nurses, you know, a new ways of doing things, you know, which is what we actually, that was one of the things of this mission. Do you have plans uh, to take the Musa uh, to some part of um, the rural parts of Liberia? Absolutely. Um, uh, if everything goes well, I I will be moving with the team uh, to Liberia uh, County, and um, Saturday we are targeting Liberia uh, County. Um, so probably a great district. We'll be at one this Saturday, and uh, I will divide the team. One will go to Liberia County. If possible, if all logistical arrangements are made, um, and from there we will go to uh, the low farm and possibly to uh, another county. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Ellen TV and EOBC caught up with the um, president of the Musa. Welcome to America, Home, sir. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, okay. How do you see your your services in Liberia so from the 15 now that you in District 13? Uh, I think excellent. Gradual pharmacy. Uh, I go with that cut up in uh, some bureaucratic nightmare at the national, at the court of trial. Uh, but I, as, as I said, we, we, we arrived here gradually, gradually picking up. Uh, we've seen an influx of patients responding to fall over here. And, uh, that's it. Has been, I think uh, the effort made by the uh, the district representative of uh, uh, the uh, excellently put in place. So basically you can see all kinds of people from all walks of life uh, responding to the call. And the doctors here have done extremely well to see what uh, provide necessary preventive measures. Problems that you're facing in um, dispensing these drugs and uh, training uh, local doctors or sharing with the local doctors. Uh, there was there hasn't been Saba, a Saba, age of problem. the only problem uh, current time was the, uh, the, the issue of uh, continuous. Uh, what kind of problem is that? Uh, you know you have to do everything possible to get the continuous out there. We, 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 we try to do what is required of you to get the continuous out so then you reach uh, a certain level, uh, some kind of level man will uh, hold the process because he's here or she is not satisfied with uh, what is going on. So I, I don't think it should be that way. We should encourage people like these uh, to come over here to buy for the community. Just before we leave, you just tell us your future plans. Uh, we hope to, to, to come here in the next uh, two years. Uh, we want to do it every year, to, to, considering the support we will get from uh, local leaders. Uh, because I believe this is the only library initiative of this nature uh, for America. So we anticipate that the future because of what is the to today, the of medication is for 
$5.6 million. I mean, the previous one we had was about $700,000. So you see the increment uh, in terms of uh, supplies and, and, and bonus. So as we get more cooperation, more support uh, from local leaders, that will encourage us as well to find our jobs, to not take our education, and make sure that this becomes our education. Because there has to be some kind of encouragement. Because these are like women, they all are dedicated to what they're doing. They can make sacrifices, give applications, and kind of have a lot of people who should have a similar way to suffocate them as well. These are the kind of things that we're looking for. So, there are a lot of things in the club now. By the time it's second, we're expecting some doctors from our like that, it would be easier uh, to do some accessible with respect to have surgery and pain. Yeah, hopefully, uh, all those uh, are uh, to the best of the opportunity to do this. Uh, 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 this position here that uh, will be responsible for have surgery. That way, you only have to carry people to Ghana and elsewhere. You know, should be limited to Nigeria now to uh, conduct some of these uh, businesses that we need to do. And uh, from the states here in Liberia to help uh, render some free medication uh, services to the Liberian people. Yeah, uh, they've been here 2011. Uh, they've gave a lot of assistance to the people of Liberia, and uh, I recently got in contact with them and they express the desire to come back to help, especially the passion for Liberia. So we partner together, we try to make things possible to make sure that we bring them and we try to, add, uh, try to explain to them basically the need of uh, uh, medications in our country. We have uh, a lot of persons that die on a daily basis in uh, all parts of Liberia because of the medical need. Uh, people are sick. They cannot afford the money to pay, and uh, I think it was about time that when they said we want to come to Liberia to work, to serve the people of Liberia, and uh, we have medications and supplies now worth $5.5 million, and I said, wow, I think it was about time that I get involved, and also being a member of the health committee, and also representative of district number 13 and uh, it was about time that I work alone with my colleagues and friends so that we can be able to make sure that this team come to Liberia and give us the best of medication, give us the best services and which of course they are done. The equipment, uh, including some volunteers who have come from the United States, is cost intensive. Who is underwriting now uh, this uh, project? Femosa. It's a registered organization in the United States. Uh, it's a 501c organization. And uh, they, uh, first of all, all of the nurses and doctors, all of the volunteers that came from the US, work very hard to raise the money to pay for the tickets. That's the first thing, that's the sacrifice that they made, first of all. The next thing is that they first try very hard to raise all of the medicines, to raise all of the equipment. And then they have to leave their jobs. These people are professional people. They are working, they have to leave their jobs, they have to pay people to take care of their children, their family, so that they can come to Liberia and serve for two consecutive weeks. And uh, they have, were able to work very hard contacting even other organizations in the United States to make sure that they be able to give them the supplies and medication. So FEMUSA was the, is the organization that covered up the cost, the entire cost. There should be no partiality. Are you eyeing something or you want to retain your position as well? You have uh, collaborated with them to reach this level. Well, um, I think it's about Liberia and uh, we have been elected to serve our people. Uh, not just going to sit in the Capitol building, but basically providing the basic services, the basic need for our people. Our people lacking medication, our people lacking education. So what can we do as government officials to get involved to make this difference? In fact, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Honorable Eric Styler, is part of this process. He has given all of his support. The Deputy Speaker, other lawmakers are involved into this. And even uh, we have written a lot of corporates like Echo Bank, 
Nonstar is also involved. Nonstar communication is also involved. In fact, Nonstar have given us two cars to use for the team. You know, Nonstar has provided phones for the team as well. Or, or t every team member, you know, get one phone. You know, you know, we are hoping that others will get involved. Even the uh, Central Bank of Liberia, we must say thanks to all of those corporates that they're going to partner with us, and uh, so that we can make our di make the difference in Liberia. It's not about what I'm adding, but taking the lead to move up with this process is because our people are in basic need, and we'll have to help them at the right time. They are in need of those things. Necessary. The voice of Honorable Sir Joseph of District Number. 13 Montserrat County. Number 13 Montserrat County and this is Raske of Real TV and Truth FM 96.1 here looking at the health sector of the program the environment on this occasion this is Wednesday and thank you for coming. Hello. Lingo Association of the United States of America and right now we are in composition with uh, brother Daoud Kenneth uh, BSN Houston, Texas. Welcome to Sky TV. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's a um, pleasure to be here in yeah. Liberia at this time when our people really need our services. We are here to provide medical services to the Liberian people, especially the underprivileged. And we have uh, brought in different kinds of medication to our assessment. But this is the second time we have come to provide services. We realize that. Uh, People are suffering from high blood pressure, diabetes, um, ulcer, uh, gastric ulcers, and different major issues. So, what we have done is to make them medications and also educate them how to have a better health as we provide the medication and also provide teaching to uh, make sure campus is put in our country. And these services, until it's uh, being organized, the Medical Association, a federation in America that is intended for all Liberia, despite uh, being the guide uh, of the uh, ethnic and religious background. We in the team, in the medical team, we have Liberians who are Christian, who are non medical and we provide services to everybody. We, our services that we are providing is for humanity and for Liberian people in the region. Um, we also here to. This is just a short, in the short short term objective we are we are having. But the long term objective of this mission is to build a uh, world class clinic for people, probably a hospital for the Liberian people. So this is just a first step. We thank you uh, for providing a uh, warm, warm welcome to our people. Especially we also extend our appreciation to Sir John and he's been a wonderful representative in the department. Yes, I'm going to distribute medication to the people of that region. Uh, do you have a plan of going to other counties to do so? Yes, uh, we intend to go to Bombay uh, Hill, to Dover County. We also want to go to Kanji and uh, we will also be going to Kima County. And because of the limited time we have, what we intend to do, we will provide uh, medical equipment and medications to uh, some clinics in those bigger, in those counties. Unfortunately, we would not be able to cover the entire uh, Liberia, but we will be providing uh, this equipment and medicine to, uh, to some areas. Are you targeting only hospital or you are going to go do by do distribution that you are going to do in Liberia? No, it's not only for hospital, it's going to be community based clinics. There are some clinics that uh, we know the communities, the people, where people live, there are a lot of uh, underprivileged, they cannot afford these medications. We're going to target these clinics or these population centers. We, this is what we've been doing in the last uh, one week. We go to communities that uh, we know people need medications and we're hoping a uh, you know, clinic, daily clinic for them. But since we will not be able to be here for that long, we're going to distribute the medication to the clinic and also to, to the hospitals. Yeah, uh, uh, 
Um, will you give us an estimate cost of this medication that you brought in the country? Well, right now we have uh, the estimate is about five point five million dollars worth of medications and equipment. We have surgical equipment. We also have uh, diagnostic equipment. Uh, uh, Okay, any final word? Well, we thank the Liberian people for welcoming us and also for listening and seeing us as ambassadors. We also uh, we want to thank Sai Joe, Joseph. We also appreciate the fact that uh, we are all going to be here to one day build a world class hospital for our country. We can do it, and it's a possibility that we will be able to do it. So we have to unite, we have to unite with unity of purpose, we'll be able to achieve a great, greater thing in life. Uh, not also forgetting the cell phone company that uh, has been wonderful to us. Uh, it's called Lone Star, which is, uh, they have provided some services to us too and help. We want to thank them. And all the Liberian people. Thank you. One of the philanthropists who gave the schools to the uh, Federation of Madingos from the US, and her name is Nimato Kamara Richardson, Special National Madingo Caucus. Welcome to Sky TV. Thank you. Yeah, um, what were your intention of giving the school to these people to you know, actually uh, have their drugs? Well, these people came to help we Liberians uh, as, as we are in need of medication and uh, doctors. As you can see that we are just from war and all our people that went abroad, some of them coming back and giving what they can accumulate there just for humanitarian gesture. So when they come, we have to pour our hair on them and give them what we have. I have this warehouse, so I decided to give to them and I'm a member of National Medical Caucus, and I'm the treasurer. So we put our hands together. Everybody has to get what they have. Some people get cash, some people get cash. And since I have warehouse and it's not far from the court, I deem it necessary to open it up to uh, the Federation of Medical from the United States of America. So how do you see the action of these uh, Madingos, of these Liberians that left from here, went to the U.S. and obtained degrees in medication, you know, they started to come back to their country to contribute their quota. How do you feel? I feel very, very happy. I'm overwhelmed by their gesture coming back home with where they have sacrificing their time, their resources, and we all know how America is. We would have been there. Time is money. And every minute you spend on a job you pay for. If you don't spend that, you can be paid. And look what you their time, reaching their life to come to Liberia, to come and help us. I think it's very great. We can't say nothing but to thank them very much for their selfless gift that they're giving back to us. And going back to going to America, they didn't go because they wanted to go. It was a civil war that took all of us there. And they come back to their homeland, they come to our community, give back to our people, which is very important. It's important. And we are very happy and grateful for that. So what message do you have for Liberians that are watching you on television? Well, the message I have for all Liberians that we are all Liberians, which is stick together, we matter, we stand strong, and we should help one another. Whatever you get as a Liberian, even if you don't have the, 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 the finances, but you can have the idea, you can come with a fabulous idea to give to your community, to give to your, to, to your people. That's how we should do as a Liberian. It shouldn't be about tribe or religion or whatsoever. They should be, we should all be Liberian. Liberian is what we have as a common denominator. What made America great is that they look at America as America. They don't say because I'm from uh, Europe or I'm from Africa. No, as American, they look at America and they are very prepared towards that country. So that what we supposed to do as America? Be prepared and nationalistic and go our country as one. Thank you. Thank you. New Georgia Clinic. And this is a medical delegation for the United States of America. And the part is served. Mosa. Mosa. 
Medical Mission 2030 Moravia Liberia, they have come to help the Liberian people, Liberian people in all the general variety of Liberian people. They've been in the United States of America, they've been working and they've been trying their best indeed. This is not the first time they've been here for some time and they are here today again. It's a pleasure to be with you, Mr. Benedict. My name is Paul and Godo, uh, and welcome. Uh, what is your mission? Uh, basically, our mission here is to provide. Uh, and, and, and I think uh, we believe that healthcare is basic human rights, and therefore, uh, that has to be preserved by anybody who. In the area of healthcare services. So that's why basically we are here to provide these services because most of the providers are Liberian. Uh, so we come back to give back to the community uh, what, they, what they have done uh, for the past few years. So we're here to provide services free of charge. Now, what are some of the services that you are providing for the people in here? Uh, we, we brought in our uh, ophthalmologist, uh, we'll be looking at the eyes, uh, Dr. Dr. Majors here, uh, she's been in the screen right now. Uh, and we have uh, Dr. Simone is also here, she's the clinical psychologist uh, that has to do with mental issues and other related factors of the house, uh, what we refer to here with Dr. Simone's case. But now we have all um, the um, caucus, Mandingo caucus here in Liberia. And uh, are you working in collaboration with them, as you have said, that you also are uh, an association uh, Mandingo, you know, in the United States of America? Are you working along with them? To uh, Arbor Saar, Joseph Saar. Uh, Arbor Joseph Saar has been, uh, uh, what would I say, a foot soldier making sure that our stay here uh, is stress-free, is enjoyable, is relaxing. Uh, since our arrival, the uh, Arbor has been uh, us through all. We must be here for that. We quite so with the, the Mario Caucus, we are in, in collaboration with them. Uh, it's a sister organization on this side. We also in contact with like, other institutions as well. So we are thankful to be part of uh, uh, this endeavor. Now, Mr. Benedict, um, what actually motivated this organization to come in a good fortune like this? Because Liberian people, I mean, actually need this kind of thing. What actually motivated your organization? I, I, I think this is a, uh, a, a national response to do uh, I think. In many of the president's uh, speeches, she has always called for uh, Liberian uh, to governorize themselves to the national development of this country. And I, and, I, and I think this is our way of helping in that, in that endeavor. And let's make it clear, this is a Liberian situation. It's not only a Madingo situation. Because if you look at the composition of the group, we have a lot of people who are non mandingos They all are from part of this group. So uh, it may scare the meaning, but it's a library initiative. Sister uh, uh, Kolu, uh, uh, other doctors that are here uh, are not mandingos But I think we all share. Uh, that, that not being great. We all feel that well, we, it's our obligation and responsibility to give back to the community and respond to uh, the president for the national development. I think this is our own way of giving back. Now, this uh, initiative was uh, was kicked off by my predecessor, Mohammed Dukri, uh, who is now working at the uh, finance ministry. Uh, decided that well, there was a need to serve in that area. And I think that that's their footprint. We all are continuing. And hopefully, we, we, every year, we become bigger, bigger, bigger. So that we become a Liberian initiative. And I think this is a typical Liberian uh, 
a long question so that we all can look at issue now from the global standpoint for the national uh, census to see how we all have our and you're looking at the issue of Liberians being together, cohesiveness, Absolutely. togetherness, what the president called for people should come from the diaspora to work in collaboration to rebuild the nation. That's what you're looking at. Absolutely, about. absolutely. That you said. Yes, we work uh, in collaboration with local uh, doctors and nurses so that issues that we cannot handle considering the, 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 the seriousness of this case. And I think that's one you've been the head of this organization. Well, I mean, uh, nowadays, everything you do in Liberia is political. You know, but look, but our intention is now to find a political position. It's quite the humanitarian. Yeah, it's absolutely humanitarian. Um, and if we can come and serve people like this, you know, uh, our magnitude, yes, then I think that gives meaning. Now you just commended the uh, district number 13 representative. Uh, could you just say a little bit about you and you and the guys to his name? Mr. Joseph is a surplus human being, dedicated, um, compassionate personality. I, I, I have not seen a politician of this nature. Uh, for, for, for what I've seen, I think he's someone who goes down the line. If we were, if all the politicians were, were, were act like this, you understand? And I think they make sure that your community is served. You know, so the government cannot do everything for people. Okay, if you see these kind of initiatives, you know, I bet you if government was involved in this, it would be very expensive. You understand? So, well, what I would like, what I would suggest is that people like me must be encouraged. The government must have programs to encourage this kind of thing so that our people in the diaspora uh, can find reason to come back and give back to that community. You know, so that um, we can spend money on these kind of things. You know, encourage people to bring medicines, encourage people to bring other things that will benefit communities. You know, in terms of education, healthcare, a lot of other things that. I do can do. Well, Doctor, I mean, uh, on both side is an honorable man. I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I have uh, 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 confidence in his ability to lead this place uh, uh, very well. I must, I must commend him to This initiative to be limited to put a more survival? No, we intend to, to go all around. Uh, we have Bon County, we have uh, Totma, uh, Totma Burr. We wanted to go to Lofa County, Grand Jira, as much as we can. But uh, we, we've been scaled down because we can't get our, <laughs> our materials out. You see, and most of the pro providers will be leaving by Saturdays. Okay? The nurse practitioners will stay up to the ten of us. You see, so it kind of put us in a predicament where, you know, we have to work with what we have right now to, to get the continuous out here. Mohamed Bellete is the president of FAMUS. It's a pleasure being with you and uh, God bless you. And I bless you in what you have to say with all respect. God is one God that we have respect and we are praying to. What are Allah, what are we to ever? It's the one God we are praying to. And we're very happy that we brought this tremendous initiative to this country in collaboration of Honorable Joseph and other individuals who have worked expediently to make this success. It's a pleasure being with you. My name is Paul and Body in Omen. Don't forget about me when you get back to the United States of America. This is Paul and Body of Clara TV. And of course, this is Anthony Samuel of the Focus newspaper. Welcome to Sky TV. Well, um, I'm Asata Kamara from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been an intensive care registered nurse for about 10 years. Yeah, um, you, you are here in Liberia. Um, what is the mission here in Liberia? Well, the mission here in Liberia mainly is to alleviate human suffering. Our people here in Liberia they get mainly in the area of health. You cannot do well in life if you are not well. 
So we are targeting that area to make sure the Liberians are well to be able to take care of their necessary needs. Yeah, so um, we see a huge amount of uh, medication here. <laughs> And being this medicine to Liberia at this time? Well, I was here in 2011. Uh, we had about a million dollar worth of medication and medical equipment. This time we have about 5.5 million dollars worth of medication, mainly diabetic medication blood pressure medications. Uh, we are targeting these areas because we had done an assessment on the first mission, which was 2011, and these were the areas that we identified that needed to be taken care of. So we are giving supply of one year to two years of uh, high blood pressure medicines, diabetes, infections, uh, pain, anything that had to do it to help you to get well. So, yeah, you are about to go to Bombay Hills with some medication. Uh, are you going to distribute the medication, medication to government hospitals or uh, you are going to go do to do by distributing this uh, relief? Well, we will be providing services in Bombay today. That means we have providers, doctors and nurses. We will be giving free services and we will donate to the Bomi Hospital as we did two years ago. Yeah, so how long is this uh, donation going to go? Uh, this is going to be, it started, we've been here one week already. It's going to go on until the 31st of March. People are watching you on television, we like to really know as to what are all these medications that you brought. You know, you talk about diabetes, you talk about high blood pressure, you know, do you uh, do surgical, you know, surgical operation or what? Well, um, this part of the mission, we have screened some patients that needed eye surgery, and these surgeries will be done. Uh, these people, these patients have been screened, and these are patients with cataracts, pterygians, growths. Those that needed medication have been given medication, and those that need surgery will receive their surgery as well. I don't know at this time how many patients that we have screened, but the last 2011, we had about 200 medical, I mean, surgical procedures. Yeah, so, um, brother down to us about uh, uh, at what time uh, do you expect that to happen right now or in time to come? Well, it's in line, uh, it's in process. Uh, we hate to say that it's going to be tomorrow, but anything is possible. But that's the main objective, that's the goal to make sure all Liberians will be able to be healthy, not, don't have to travel to Ghana, because it's not everybody that can afford to go to Ghana, that if you that we can help Liberians, we do not have hemodialysis machine in Liberia. Sickness like diabetes and high blood pressures, these diseases damage your kidney. And when they destroy your kidney, you need hemodialysis. We don't have one single center of hemodialysis in Liberia. So our goal is a preventive measure in terms of education, medications to prevent that from happening. So our brothers and sisters don't have to die. Yeah, uh, people are watching you on television might not know what you call hemodialysis. Could you just give all a name? Okay, hemodialysis machine is mainly if diabetes destroys your kidney, you are not going to be able to pee, pee okay? If high blood pressure stay with you for a couple of years, you will, it will damage your kidney. When the kidney is destroyed, you cannot urinate. Urine is a waste product. It cannot be kept in your body. So in that sense, if you cannot urinate, you really will not last more than a couple of weeks. So dialysis machine is a machine that they take your entire blood, put it into the machine, extract the urine out of the blood, and put the blood back to your body. We do not have that in the urine. Thank you very much. Um, one of the nurses from Renardi Calci 
pediatric nurse practitioner. Welcome to Sky TV. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. You're from Nigeria? I am. I'm from, I'm what, from what, what is the mission in Nigeria? Uh, the mission in Liberia has been led by Mr. Joseph Sacker, who's done a phenomenal job. I think that the estimated value of our mission is about $5 million, U.S. dollars. That's in medicines, medical supplies, different equipments, things for hospitals, things for pharmacies, things for clinics, as well as a, a team of providers and nurses that is here to help deliver care to women and men and children out in free clinics in towns around Monrovia, as well as take some trips out in outlying rural areas. Yeah, so now you are on your way back to, to the real area to the, um, uh, distribute medicine to the people. Yeah. Are you going to a government hospital or basic hospitals around the area? Or you are going go, do to do by distributing medication to the people? Yeah, we, we spent the previous week, this week, we spent in uh, New Georgia and Jacobtown uh, doing free clinics. So screening and assessing and diagnosing and treating uh, members of the community with our medicines, maybe referring them to hospitals. Um, some of our staff have been at James T. Davis Hospital. Today we're going, we're loading up hospital supplies and all kinds of medicines and equipment, taking those out to the hospital out in Bami, and then we're also going to be delivering medicines to the community clinic out in Bami. So we've done clinics all last week. Today we're making deliveries of equipment and medicines and supplies to hospitals and clinics. Today to Bami, and the rest next week will be to other towns. Yeah, people are watching you on television who would like to know what type of medicine do you brought into the country. Sure. Um, we're seeing a lot of um, a high blood pressure in, in people we've seen so far. So we have a lot of medicine for high blood pressure, uh, for diabetes, for uh, uh, gastric reflux and chest burning and pain, stomach pain, pain medications, um, lots of medicines to treat infections of all kinds. So whether they might be infections of a urinary tract nature, or a skin infection, or a chest infection, we have lots of anti-infectives as well for those. Uh, what, what, uh, do you think the medicine that's brought into the country will reach to the down -throating? Um I think they, were, they are intended for delivering to any of the folks who have a tough time, which is an awful lot of people in Liberia, of just getting basic health care and health care services, and even being able to afford the medications. So these medicines, all these medicines and supplies were donated by uh, individuals and companies and hospitals and pharmaceutical suppliers in the United States, all to go out at no charge to citizens of Liberia. It's Correct. a free of charge medicine. That's right. So we don't charge for any of the medicines. We don't charge to see a doctor in our clinics. We're not, all this equipment that's going to the hospitals is all at no cost. Do you have any intention of building hospital here in Liberia? You know, I would direct that question to Joe Sacker. I've, I've, I've been it, known Joe and I've been supporting him on his this mission and prior missions to Liberia. I think he might have some long-range plans of coming home or doing some things in Liberia. So I might let you ask Joe that. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Yeah. Bye -bye. First, we are staying here um, opposite LPRC, um, peace, I mean, uh, Freeport, Monrovia. Now we are in conversation with uh, Nurse Simo Saka, registered nurse, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Welcome to Sky TV. Can I make a photo of her? So what is it? Simu Jinia Sako. Welcome to Sky TV. Thank you. Yeah, what is your mission here in Liberia? Well, uh, first of all, I'm uh, Simu Jinia Sako. I am a registered nurse, RNBSN, uh, working in a clinical care unit uh, in America at Area Health. And my mission here is to help my people. I want to give back. During the war, we struggled. We saw a lot of people fled from here from the war, and we went abroad and learned. So whatever I learned from back there, I want to come and share with my people to give back. The place I was born, I can never forget where I was born. So I, it's my duty to come back and, and, and share my knowledge with my brothers and sisters in America. I mean, in Liberia. Yeah, um, the, the, the goods or the medication that you brought into the country, are you going to sell it to them? Give them free of charge? No, it's not for sale. 
we got those medication from back different uh, organizations in the Americas to, to make to us these medication so we can give it free to the poor people. People here have no money and medications are very expensive. So we bring this medication, what we have been doing these few days. If somebody come in with a high blood pressure, we give them we brought enough medication to give somebody one, I mean, one year worth of medication. Because if I give you one month medication of uh, high blood pressure, it's not going to do anything for you. So we try and uh, did our best to have enough medication. If I'm dispensing any medication to you, you have a blood pressure or uh, 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 diabetes, I want to give you enough at least to last for a year. And our plan is to be coming every year. If you know we have the sponsors and people like you know, uh, Joseph and that are here to sponsor this year, we want to come every year to be able to help our people. Yeah, um, now you, you talk about giving one year medication to our patient yeah. and um, other people out there would like to know as to whether you are the one that's going to administer these medicine to the people or you are going to give it to some organization to be able to well, distribute the medicine. What we, what we did for the past couple of days, we went to uh, New Georgia and we assessed patients, asked questions, what they're there for, we check their blood pressures and stuff. And see, okay, if I and I check your blood sugar and see, or well, you come out with a four, your blood sugar is like four nineteen or something like that. You have a, a blood sugar problem, so then we we'll give you some medication. We we'll explain to you how to take it. Yeah, I mean, how to take it. Then uh, take it from we we'll give you uh, uh, whatever we have, like one year, six months, one year, something. Like so any final word for Liberian that watching you on television? I want to know, since you've been in the country, who are these hands that are behind you? Oh my God. Honorable Sir Joseph. I think he's the man. He has been very, very helpful from the time we came. That guy has been number one. And he will not eat his way up all the time. Number one. He provides, he helps us with food. Water, sleeping place, transportation. Make our stay here a success. So I just want to thank him. I mean, over television, that he is for his people. If people put you in a position, they want you. I mean, they put you there for you to serve them, and he is a servant. Yes. He is very good. I just want for Liberian people to learn from things to the hospital. Okay. Any other, any other pricing? Uh, yes, we have we have the Lone Star uh, company here that we distribute their cell phones. They gave us cell phones here for our time staying here, like two weeks. So they gave us three cell phones with three minutes on it. So I can call my uh, uh, daughter or my family in America because we're here, we're working all the time. Then. Um, and they gave her two vehicles to and go for transportation. They gave her all the uh, cell phones and minutes and they gave her two vehicles to transport her to the other site. So I want to say thank you to Moon Star for making our stay here a wonderful stay. And then, uh, the Mandingo Caucus. Uh, the Mandingo Caucus are here are at one of the uh, supporters that help us uh, to come here and be really helpful to you know, help us in everything to make our stay here in the Thank you. Yes, this is Radio Afala 95.1, the radio service of the Liberia Muslim Media Center. We broadcast live from the top of Gally Street Mox, Gally Street, Monrovia, Liberia. This is where the voice of the Muslims are heard in the Republic of Liberia. I would now like to welcome you to Leadership and Muslim Personality. Today I have in studio with me a high power delegation from the United States of America, comprises of mainly doctors who have come today in our country to provide free medical services to our people. Presently in studio with me is Brother Mohammed Belete. He happens to be the president of this organization, Femusa. Yeah, but, uh, 
You have been here, Alhamdulillah. In fact, I went to welcome you from the airport. How you been here? You stay here. How has it been? Uh, basically, we, we, I want to say uh, it's been two parts. Uh, we've seen a lot. Yeah. Uh, perhaps beyond our own expectation. Rewarding experience. Uh, 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 what would I say? It's two fold. We we have seen a lot, and 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 we realize beyond expectation that uh, there's a dying need of, of, of our service. And we also realized that, well, uh, 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 it was worth coming to see that uh, uh, some of those services are provided to our people. So uh, I would stay a great day. I, I would say uh, it's impressive, and, uh, and I'm pleased to be back home. Radio Afala, of course, so we will once again welcome you to the voice of the Muslim in Liberia. And then you are here on this name Femusa. How did this Femusa, whole thing about Femusa came about, especially the medical team to Liberia? Um, it's the, uh, the abbreviation of the Liberian Mandingo Association in the USA. Mm -hmm. uh, Femusa was founded in uh, 2007. Um, uh, uh, hopefully, I mean, uh, I prop was the organizing chair of this of this institution uh, when I became chairman of the, uh, I mean, president of the the Pennsylvania Mandingo Association. Uh, we thought the needs that uh, uh, we all organize ourselves uh, into one body, so we decided to uh, meet. Uh, chapter states. We have presently we have 13 chapter states that include Minnesota, North Dakota, Washington, uh, New York, New Jersey, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, Maryland, and uh, the metropolitan area. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Chicago as well. Uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and all of those states are included wow. as well. So. Uh, we have 13 chapters uh, uh, that form uh, uh, FEMUSA. We, we have election uh, every two years. Every two years. It's highly competitive uh, uh, we, because we have conventions every year. Uh, I will be facing my re-election this year, mm. uh, July. Uh, so every year we do have conventions and then and, and, and out of from those conventions, we, we, we select five delegates from every state. Ah. These delegates comes, uh, they, they come to the convention to decide the fate of the organization. Uh, uh, some of the uh, issues or problems we have. So basically, FAMUSA is a non-for-profit organization. It's a 501c3 organization. Mm -hmm. And write off uh, on your tax. On your tax. Yeah, you know, so it's a, when you donate to us in, in America, as a business or, or, or individual, you have the, uh, you have the, 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 you have the right to write it off on your task as a contribution to contribution charity, charity organization. Okay, in America, are all members of Famosa Muslims and Madingo? They all, well, I mean, uh, from, from this, uh, uh, constitutional standpoints, uh, it says uh, the membership can be Madingo and Madingo descents mm -hmm. and uh, associate members uh, can also be our spouses who mm -hmm. are not Madingo. prepared to be Madingo. No. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, FEMUSA is a model organization, it's, it's almost like an octopus uh, that has uh, very limbs mm -hmm. uh, connected to it. Some organization, but I tended to uh, order non Mandingo by virtue of the relationship, relationship by yes. virtue of association. Okay, has this mission started? Uh, we started a mission uh, at the New Georgia Clinic. New Georgia Clinic? I think uh, that's District 13. Yeah. Under uh, Representative uh, Sir Joseph. Mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, the mission was officially launched last night uh, through under the auspices of mm -hmm. the Madingo Caucus. Uh, we had a uh, 
uh, elaborate uh, reception at the uh, river, uh, Riverview Riverview Hotel. Hotel. A lot of uh, 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 how do you call it? Formal government officials. That For we, we formal government officials, and, and the know, process has we, already started. How many doctors you have on ground? Doctors. Five doctors. And. Uh, uh, you have people who are responsible for eyes. Mm -hmm. You have uh, someone uh, responsible for for general medicines, mm -hmm. uh, things that has to do with uh, malaria, uh, malaria, diarrhea, you know, bones. bones. And, you know. okay. So uh, then we also have uh, another doctor that is responsible for female. Uh, what with, uh, she's a gynecologist. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have another one uh, that is, is a, a clinical psychologist, mm -hmm. so that has to do with the the, 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 the cognitive mind uh, as set of a, of a human mind. So I'm not a doctor, so mm -hmm. I'm not a doctor. So, so it's like oh, you yeah. have the uh, six things, everything. So I'm for Musa. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's just a committee, a branch of of, of Femusa. Uh, so how how long? Mostly for two weeks. But considering um, the the time allotted to the doctors, mm -hmm. you know, some of the doctors have uh, do private practices no. in America, mm -hmm. so they have to deal with our various staffs that they left behind. No. So uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very expensive course, mm -hmm. uh, and you have to be dedicated to to do this because you leave a lot behind you in America when you leave. <laughs> When you are absent for one day, mm -hmm. you, you it takes time to recover. The, to recover that so, day. So, so uh, those doctors have taken at least a week or two. Uh, that uh, indeed is a great sacrifice. Oh, and right. We must commend them for that. So, some of the doctors will be leaving uh, today. Today. Yes, and um, some will leave Sunday. The thirty first. So officially, we 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 we. Our, our expectation is that by the third of us, mm -hmm. uh, the mission shall have come to an end. Mm -hmm. Almost five point six million dollar worth. Now we're just about to ask the worth of this mission. Oh, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. apart from the medication that that, prop, that worth five point six million dollar, the the in terms of uh, logistic, in terms of uh, air uh, tickets, and I mean, so we had a budget of almost. Thirty to forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars in terms of transportation, containers, and other stuff. So, so that's 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 absolutely apart from what, from the, you know, medicine, the medication. Medication. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What were some of the cases that your doctors met? Well, uh, eye problem. Eye problems. Yeah, there were eyes. There were eye problems, and uh, some were uh, high blood pressure. Some were diabetes. So we have a lot of di uh, diabetic uh, patients uh, around, and as well as uh, people with eye problems. So uh, uh, glaucoma and other eye-affected uh, related diseases were the major area of concern. Uh, we have a very trained uh, eye doctor that came with us, an old sister. Mm, uh, she's so a Mad Madingo per se, but her mom is a Madingo. Her mom is a Madingo, so uh, she has this Madingo yeah. descendant. She's a Congo, but mm -hmm. her mom is a Madingo. And I think she she, she feels uh, uh, indeed uh, happy to be part of this mission and she contributed her quota to uh, the development of, of Liberia in the health sector. In the health so sector. I think that's why we you know that's why we're here for. Who are like the Americans, who are like American or European or Asian people among you? Uh, we have uh, Tom who who is an American. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's not from here. Uh, we have uh, uh, Kim, Kim. Who, uh, who also is an American as an African American. See, so, the, but the rest are Liberians. The rest are Liberians. Once again, you listen to and Muslim personalities. In studio with us today is Brother Mohammed Billete. He's the president presently for Femosa. He says six months from now, July, eh? waiting yeah. re-election. So, are you? Let's talk a bit about that area. Are you going to run back? In on the ground here, mm -hmm. uh, with the investment of time and mm -hmm. effort, mm -hmm. we've devoted to this mission. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I, I think it's incumbent upon me to make sure that uh, uh, what we've what we've rooted now, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's a challenge for me to execute, to continue, mm -hmm. to do more. So I think that's a national call, and I, and I think I, I feel obligated by that. You, you talk about challenges to run for the second time. What would be some of your focus for us back here? Oh, like I said, the medical, the medical community in Formosa is a subset of Formosa. It's just a community. Mm -hmm. So that's not the entire focus of, of, of Formosa. Of Formosa. Uh, we are involved in other areas with scholarships and, 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 and other uh, 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 social uh, development asp uh, area. The, we, we, we realize that uh, we intend to focus, especially here, uh, building an institution uh, where when we, when the, if, if we intend to have the medical mission uh, in perpetuity, so we have to have an institution on the ground uh, to make sure that uh, we don't face some of these problems, minor problems that we encounter many of the time. Uh, and I think we will be in collaboration with uh, our our sponsors over here, uh, the Madiba Caucus, uh, Honorable Sai, who has been very instrumental in making sure that uh, the team is taken care of, uh, the the uh, the Lone Star mm -hmm. uh, cell phone, cell com uh, yeah, yeah, Lone cell Star uh, 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 Communication uh, yeah, Corporation. Uh, yeah, they have uh, they have provided us. Uh, 21 cell phones and two, two vehicles. So uh, the government done in buttressing your efforts, talking about how you got your containers out of the boat, your, the other uh, government tax attached to your coming here. What did the government do in that area? Situation like that must be uh, duty free mm -hmm. because uh, things, our service is charitable. It's not an um, uh, has no financial overtone. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think the, the Ministry of Finance uh, has been very instrumental uh, uh, through the, uh, the Deputy Minister uh, and also we were in touch with the, the Minister proper to make sure that uh, some of those duty-free uh, incentives are provided to us. Although we, we face some challenges in uh, taking the, uh, the containers, or even right now one of the containers is still there. Uh, mm -hmm. that has bulk up the medication so we hope that uh, uh, whoever responsible you know can smooth this for us so that we can serve uh, uh, the population uh, it, it, it's, it's desperate I mean we visited a couple of hospitals uh, you actually see the need and can you imagine some of my some of my staff uh, with me were in tears mm -hmm. uh, when they see when they saw uh, some of those critical uh, 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 cases, cases that came you know, to them. That the one they saw at the various clinics. Yeah, you know, but so we're talking about the city. Yeah. yeah. You see, that the government, you know, uh, will do more uh, to encourage organizations uh, like this, uh, initiative like this, so that uh, we can continue uh, to serve and to bring back uh, some of the brilliant uh, 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 members of the society from, from, from America and elsewhere. Program at 0880 9510 Better you can just dial 9510 and be part of the program. Once again, 0880 Let me take my first caller on the line. Please walk away from your receiver. You know where you call from. Yeah, you listen to leadership and Muslim personality. What you got to tell us, brother? So my question is to say that I congratulate for the effort that you are applying for Muslim, no. also for our religion, Islamic. No. So may all my dear God bless you and give more to him with his money to attend for us in the country of Islam. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for that call. Okay, we were saying something. Now you are expecting some of the doctors to be leaving. So, you, how many doctors you say should be leaving by tomorrow? To, to be leaving. Yeah, to mm. Now, what are the efforts now made for the continuous and the port to come out? 
Oh yes, uh, uh, the the, uh, the the honorable uh, has been very instrumental. Uh, mm -hmm. Honorable Sir Joseph Sir Joseph Sir, and uh, <clears throat> and and the uh, leadership of the caucus has also been uh, playing some role in making sure that the continence is out. Uh, we were contacted by Mr. Um, Stubberfield. Yeah, Mr. Stubberfield. Who is the advisor to the president on, on, on religious matter. Religious matter. So, uh, and, and, and he vowed to help when we need uh, his assistance. So, uh, there has been some pool uh, of, of effort uh, in making sure that the continent continues. Because I, I, uh, most of the medications that we needed, that, that are required, uh, are not currently available because we have bulk of the medications in the, in the continent at the port. Okay, let me. Your name and where you call from? Uh, my name is Sefu Belete, calling from Bide Town. Okay, Brother Belete, what's your take? Yeah, uh, Nami Fatsi has the ability for his effort when he does uh, uh, things for our people here in the country uh, because, uh, because Africa as a whole, uh, we get a shock because of treatment in health but uh, really I want to know how uh, you know uh, 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 how well they carry the, uh, the, the medicine because uh, I think Jacob Town I don't know where they, 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 they will be buying the medicine at the centers okay thank you very much uh, brother well, currently we are in Jakarta at the Suarez Clinic, mm -hmm. Dr. Suarez Clinic. We were uh, yesterday. We were at the, uh, the New Georgia area. No, no, no. We were, we yeah, we were in both area. Mm -hmm. we, currently, we are at New Georgia. Mm -hmm. We uh, the New Georgia Clinic, and yesterday we were at the CC Women's. Uh, the CC, uh, there's a, there's a other school right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were there yesterday. Now we are at that Dr. Suarez Clinic today. So if, if someone um, needs a service, uh, has to go there, the, the, the registration process is on. So how? The, 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 they have a number where you meet the nurses, uh, they take your information and, 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 and explain your problem. And you know, they just send you to the doctors. Depending on your case, um, which doctors you, uh, which of the doctor you need to visit, it could be at the eye doctor or the uh, the general medicine uh, person. General so medicine. yeah, so uh, but we are currently at the both side right now, uh, New Georgia Clinic and and the one in. Uh, so what's the next type? Mm -hmm. We 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 will continue because when we get the container to, today. Yeah. We we've we've have some commitment to uh, uh, New Georgia community, New Georgia and New uh, and, and Jacob and Town, Jacob Town. Mm -hmm. because uh, the doctors have issued prescriptions mm -hmm. and those medicines are not available yet. No. So we have to make sure that those people are served, because uh, in New Georgia we we we've been there since Monday. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we get medication for at least six months and year. So that that person will not have at least at least a year. Mm -hmm. You can't go to you can. buy expensive drugs from elsewhere. That that will save you money and time. So and, uh, and I know most missions do not do that. People will come and retail mm -hmm. their medicine, but I, we believe that we want to give you enough, you know, so that uh, you can stay on that for six to one 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 year. Prescription that were issued from Monday to Tuesday and uh, Jacob Town yesterday. Okay, let me take this caller. Asalaamu As Alaikum. <coughs> yes, your name and where you call from? Yes, Usman Sanya, you listen to our brother, uh, brother Mohammed Belete. Yes. No. Okay, thank you very much, Brother Osman Sayon. You said that, or you said uh, the medical team is just a program. And uh, how the scholarship issue is like? When will you be coming up with it?
uh, since uh, 2008. But uh, we, when we came in, we realized there were some lapses, and, and, and we have we have to correct that. Uh, it, it appears like we we were we were throwing money on um, <clears throat> on the scholarship, but we were not getting any result. So. When we when we constituted the new uh, the scholarship committee, uh, Mr. Sharif uh, Mohammed Sharif, who is the chairman of that committee, uh, decided that well uh, there has to be accountability uh, in the area in, in that area. So I think uh, he's actually revamping the process right now. Uh, 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 he has uh, he recommended. Hello? Your name and where you call from? Okay, you listen to Radio Afala Leadership and Muslim Personality. You've been following the discussion here. What's your point? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting you. Okay, thank, thank you very much for being part of the program. Oh, Mr. Billet of Medicine at the National Port Authority there, and then our doctors will soon be leaving. What other programs you got for our doctors on ground? For the past two, three days, to see how we can <coughs> interact uh, when, the, when the doctors leave. Uh, although we will still be having some uh, nurse practitioners, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those are nurses with masters and stuff, but uh, they were still, some of them will still be on the ground. So we spoke with uh, Dr. Soare, Dr. Conner, and other uh, brothers who are willing to come in uh, to fill in the vacuum. So we <clears throat> will be having a collaborative effort to see how we can dispense the rest of the <clears throat> medication uh, and other uh, medical supplies we have. So, so some of the area were not actually we were not uh, constituting a clinic. Mm -hmm. We were only uh, donate medic medication and supplies. We visited a couple of clinics. We saw the needs uh, that are there. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. So uh, some of the medical supplies we have in terms of uh, uh, ultrasound machine, you know, uh, the EK, EKG stuff and other others. We, we are you good? Uh, we have a doctor, uh, a, a nurse practitioner who is an, who, who is an instructor of nursing, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, and we've also been blessed to have uh, some of the local uh, nurses, nurses around mm -hmm. uh, to see how these sisters, brothers, practice, uh, 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 how they manage uh, the 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 triage they conduct in terms of uh, 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 conducting, uh, I mean, in terms of uh, the protocol to, to, the, to, the, to the doctors. Okay. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Your name and where you call from? Okay, Fatima Kaita, you've been listening to Radio Afala and the program is Leadership and Muslim Personality. What you got for us? No. I mean, inshallah. Thank you very much for the call. 
have to take a short break and we'll be right back. The 5.1. Welcome back to the program Leadership and Muslim Personality. I'm Ben Habibu Kewen. You can also refer to me as the Conqueror. I'm here today with my brother Mohammed Belete. He is the president of Temusa, and we are here discussing about a high power delegation from the United States of America here in Liberia that mainly comprise of doctors. They are here to offer of free medical services and they are presently now in the New Georgia community and Chicotown community. Welcome back to the program, Mr. President. Point. You will soon be leaving. You know that really I have much concern about how soon you will be leaving. You will soon be leaving. Mm. One week and we are still expecting other uh, uh, medicine to be. That in fact, you have numerous cases than you expected. Yes, we've been contemplating on that scan, extend that time. Uh, it's been very critical. Uh, you know, they've been here. <laughs> it's not an easy. It's not an uh, easy. We know, yeah. we know it's not we, easy. We, we uh, even got a suggestion from uh, uh, some members of the caucus to mm. see whether some of those providers can ex extend that time. But, you uh, know, well, I mean, even in the absence of, the, uh, of some of the doctors, uh, we will have some nurse practitioners, well, well trained nurse practitioners. Uh, we have uh, some of our brothers from here. Uh, we're calling on some of our brothers from here to mm -hmm. add up to the team, you know, <clears throat> so that uh, we can serve, you know, the, the community. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Gisi uh, uh, is one of those who contributed. Yeah, Dr. Right. Gisi from the JFK. Yes, he's one of those who's contributed right now. Doctors, yeah. How's the working relationship between them? They have a collaborative uh, uh, working relationship. It's symbiotic because mm -hmm. you, you, we, they all learn from, from each other. Uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. so they all benefit. You know, uh, this the foreign doctors observe how you practice. Uh, the the local doctors also observe how the foreign uh, doctors conduct themselves. So, have you come across uh, medical cases that involve the, uh, have the practitioners there to? Carry out uh, surgery? Uh, yeah, to do a lot of eye surgery. Uh, but um, we, I think the whole problem is that we, we need uh, a well equipped uh, surgical facility. Uh, facility to be able to conduct some of the surgery. Well, there where Dr. Gisi com mm -hmm. comes in with his team. Uh, we hopefully, Dr. Gisi uh, is expected to do some surgery on Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. So, uh, depending on uh, if he finds the actual uh, uh, location that location. will be fit the situation. Uh, so those are the areas, and, and and some other critical uh, we do not have. We don't deal with them. Yeah, like hydrosy, uh, onion, and uh, they have, you have yeah, to yeah, come yeah, across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we because. Uh, most of the uh, medication we, we gave, most of the services is preventive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because uh, we're not based, uh, a, a based institution, so we rely on other doctors who are here to be able to provide uh, the, the setting for, for them if there's a need, urgent need for uh, some critical issue. But uh, surgery and a major surgery, uh, we do not think we can involve in that. Uh, 25 to 30 percent are children, infants on from, let's say, 15 up to one year old. And those children we have, most of them are suffering from malaria. Have you any cases of that? And uh, if yes, how you intend treating them? The, 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 there was a case to note uh, just two days ago, uh, a lady brought uh, her baby. I think she was. Uh, she said she had a malaria, but the nurses realized that uh, she was absolutely dehydrated. dehydrated. Maybe, maybe as a result of the malaria. Mm. And at the time, we had no. Uh, they had no IV uh, uh, to to to, to uh, get some drips into her system. So. We have to pay our own money to transfer her mm -hmm. uh, to the nearest uh, clinic. clinic, provide, pay for her transportation and stuff to make sure that, I mean, the doctor did the necessary instruction, mm -hmm. uh, what needs to be done and what are required. 
So those are things that we've done over the time uh, until we got some of these instruments. Now, but cases like that, I think they can they can be dealt with uh, malaria and other things because we brought enough medication for this thing. A society where we have a lot of old uh, uh, folks, in fact, when they're getting old, then they, the case become too many. They, 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 they have a headache at the same time, they got the pain at the <coughs> same time, the pressure is low at the same time, the pressure is getting high, you know, complex compound problem. Now, how is the general medication going to look into that? The, the, the doctors were ascribed to that, but uh, sometimes, if, uh, from my own observation, yeah. um, the eye doctor will say, well, uh, when your eyes is affected, I mean, when, when one of your eyes, or if your eyes are affected, mm. it affects your heart, it affects a lot of things. So, uh, or when, you know, when your heart is affected, it affects your eyes. So, so things are interrelated, uh, you know, uh, 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 as to say, but uh, because you will see people complaining about the headache, and then a man, have, then they will say, well, they got malaria. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They got, you know, they got this, they got high blood pressure, they got... So, it might not be uh, the thing you're complaining about yeah. without uh, doing some of those diagnoses and stuff. So it's always necessary to meet the doctors and uh, get the advice, uh, uh, what is required, you know, it, people just conclude that they have something. Sometimes it takes some medication that even worse, worse in the situation. Yes, so yeah, exactly. it's always necessary to meet the doctors and, and, and but we have, uh, the, I mean, uh, Dr. Sila. Dr. Who's, Sila, you mentioned where the patient will have to stay for one or two days, have you work in that area or you are not taking patient to keep them for one or two days? Yeah, I would have with that. With that. Now we are almost caught off time. Let me just put the question. What if you met a critical condition? What will you do in that case? Well, uh, those are all, like I said, the matter, we, we can handle that. Mm -hmm. The doctors run the doctor's decision. They do, uh, they recommend. Uh, at, we, we, uh, Tom, uh, the white fellow, the white the white fellow Tom, used yeah. to work with Children Hospital. Mm. The chairman of the of the of the team, Doctor, I mean, uh, Mr. Sako. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sako also works for Children Hospital. Children Hospital in Philadelphia is the world number one in terms of uh, 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 treatment to children. So uh, those are facilities that have uh, 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 a lot of things that that, that worldwide. Mm. So if, if those need arises, I think uh, it requires procedure. Those Procedures. are a lot of things that you have to, insurance, because in America you have to have insurance, mm -hmm. you know, so you, can, <laughs> you have to have insurance. Uh, it's just expensive to get cash from your pocket to pay. Mm. So, so all of these will play in. But I mean, that's like with the doctors. Once the, because some of the doctors we brought, they have their own clinics. Clinics. They brought their own clinics. So. Uh, you know, they can run it through there, uh, if possible. Who is leadership and Muslim personality? In studio with me is the president of Femosa, Brother Mohammed Belete. Uh, we are almost out of time, Mr. Belete, and uh, you will soon be leaving. What, what we expect of you? This exercise. What we seek to find. Well, I mean, after what we really expect. Yeah. Well, well, our, 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 our expectation is that um, after we shall have done with the entire exercise, uh, uh, w those we who are the providers and the recipient will realize that uh, uh, there's a need uh, to help, so that we can we can always come uh, every year instead of twice, even though it's an expensive venture. Mm -hmm. uh, so we expect uh, other institutions here to be able to give us some helping hands, you know, to uh, make our, our, our travel much easier uh, so that it becomes a perpetual uh, endeavor. They don't can all plan a vacation for this time. For so this time. It becomes a vacation over here. So, but we, we need a Did you also expect the government to provide you some duty fee or a, 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 a assistance in the process? We, 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 will, we will highly if the government is involved uh, in this kind of effort. And, 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 and it does not only come to Femusa, it will also help other librarians who are in the diaspora 
to, to start thinking about something uh, creative mm -hmm. or, and, and rewarding for the community. So uh, if government is involved, so uh, there are a lot of things government can do. So where we complete Jakarta, mm -hmm. uh, because we also have one the team to rest since they came, they've been working mm -hmm. from seven o'clock to seven o'clock. So um, uh, we want the team to rest by Sunday. So hopefully by Monday we want to go to Tottenham We want to go to Bond County. We hope to, go, uh, like you said, at the time we don't have enough, we got time against us. Mm -hmm. But some of the, like I said, we will not be conducting cleaning in some of those areas because of the time factor. We probably will supply, supply the medicines and uh, equipment, you know, to equip some of those hospitals. Okay, last the word. Um, thank you very much. Uh, Ben Habib. Ben Habib, I think you play a role. Uh, uh, we 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 also calling on other brothers and sisters uh, to encourage uh, this kind of uh, effort. I, I think it's rewarding, and and uh, the more we come here like this, and we are embraced by some of you, you help to spread the word to, to boost uh, uh, this medical mission. Medical mission. If someone uh, here came from America and heard this interview, very, very friendly and, 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 and making all effort to make sure that they go to New Georgia, they go to the hotel. And these are the kind of things we need because we bring foreigners with us. We you know we want to see our people around so that uh, that indicate that, well, you know, there's some kind of uh, effort and support around here. So I want to say thank you very much. I want to say thank you to the management of the station. And I want to also thank to give thanks to all of the, the, the brothers who have helped us, the local nurses. Uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the job ethics are different, but I think the, the local nurses have learned a lot. You know, when these uh, people go to work, they go to work strict. And, <coughs> and although we've been having some lapses with local nurses, but I want to say thank, thank you very much. I want to say thank you to all of the sponsors, uh, the cell phone company, uh, Sir, Sir Joseph, Honorable the, Sir Joseph, yeah, Honorable Sir Joseph, uh, the Madinga Caucus, uh, our uh, the Muslim Council as well, um, and some of the elders uh, that have been very much instrumental, making sure that we have breakfast in the morning whenever our guests are up. Okay, so thank you very much. This is Radio Afala 95.1. The program you've been listening to is leadership and Muslim personality. I've been Ben Happy Kawen, your presenter. Inshallah, do join us next week, Friday, same time, steam station, when I shall be here with another...
I know I know I, they've been jacking on me. 